This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing here. The joyful pastries food truck owner, I still say it's us, so us, needs a way to easily get information about the flavor or price of their dessert objects. Import your dessert class from your backpack. Bloop. Dessert. Import. Like always, guys, if you're not sure if you have it all, copy it from there. All right. Write the accessor method. Oh, so those are our getters, guys. I like, that's what they call. Uh, for the instant variables in the dessert class. Cool. All right, so here's my dessert class. I'm going to scroll down, and we need to add, well, our getters. So that would be something like public. Um, what are we returning? A string, right? Because this is what we need. I need to return string flavor and string price. Okay, so I might actually just bloop, string flavor. Boom. Cool. Get flavor. Boom, boom, is boom. And then I need to do a get price. Public. Let me get rid of this. That's more confusing. And this is a double value, right? Yep. Okay. So now um, let's go ahead and throw a comment similar to this just to explain what's going on with these. So I'll just say returns the flavor of the dessert. Nothing super complex, but just kind of gets the point across. Returns the uh, price. All right, and now what do these actually do? Shockingly, return flavor, right? We are returning the value that is set up here, right? And then we're gonna return price. Now, why is this needed? Well, we can't access the value right now. It's flavor is private and so is this. So the only way we could put that, uh, we can access these values is through our accessor methods or getter methods. In food truck runner, instantiate a dessert object gladly. Um, and then remember, we have our default one where we don't pass anything, or I can use my parameterized one. I'll go ahead and use my default one since there's values there. It should be sufficient. Instantiate a dessert object. Call the accessor methods for in instance variable. So I'll just print that stuff out now. All right, so let's see what I broke. Cool. Plain, price, and again, these are my default ones. And if you really want to get fancy, you could add some values and use the parameterize constructor. But it's looking like we nailed it. Just did upon this again, guys. These getter functions, super standard. It's how you get access to the values. Now, you won't be able to do, and why we need them is something like this. The computer can't see these values, right? There's no way. Because they are private. And we do that to protect our data. So we use getter or accessor methods to perform this functionality. Onward.